Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Let's go do Project Overlord. Of course I'm gonna bring Tali in Legion. <laughs> if you don't, you're kind of missing out. Although the problem is they don't really have much to say here, which is a shame. Oh yes, it's quite a demonstration. Okay, that's blowing my ears away. Still loud.
Incoming. Clear. Memo to all project personnel. Congratulations on your hard work. Tomorrow we make the next leap forward. It'll be a great day for Cerberus and an even greater day for humanity. Was it worth it, Archer? All the people that died. All the pain, all the suffering. Was it worth it? Well, in theory it could have been worth it. But it wasn't. Hey, let's have a plot completely unrelated to the plot of the Quarians and the Geth. But that it involves con trying to control Geth, right? Of all the useless DLCs, this one, Omega, yep. Well, Omega kind of somewhat could have worked. It didn't, but could have. God damn music. He can, and he is. Thank you. 
Well, when rockets slam it, it slam into your face, what do you expect? You're being you're being flanked. Switch up. Possibly could have rushed the stairs to save some time. Gotta be kidding. 
Boom! The whole thing's giving way! Over here! What the hell is going on around here? Man's reach exceeding his grasp. Come on, I'll explain. You have my thanks, Commander Shepard. You bought us some time, though probably not much. This isn't over yet. Who did you say you were? Dr. Gavin Archer, chief scientist at this facility, and probably the only one left. You owe us that explanation. This is Project Overlord, an attempt to gain influence over the Geth by interfacing a human mind with a VI. The results have been less than satisfactory. It looks like some progress was made. Yes. Even amid chaos, there are lessons to be learned. My brother, David, volunteered to serve as a test subject, but his mind couldn't handle the VI connection. He's like a virus now, infecting our networks and seizing control of any technology he finds. It's why you had to destroy the dish. Imagine if his program got off-world. What's the worst-case scenario? A technological apocalypse. Every machine, every weapon, every computer could be turned against us. If he hit the extra net, who knows where it would end. How does he take control of electronics? This is a hybrid intelligence the likes of which I've never seen. I don't know where the man ends and the machine begins. You should have considered that before you started the experiment. We couldn't be expected to account for every outcome. Certainly not the abomination David has become. David... The VI has fortified itself in the main laboratory at Atlas Station. It's in lockdown now. To enter, you need to manually override security from our facilities in the Prometheus and Vulcan stations. How does the lockdown work? It's a fail-safe procedure in the event of an emergency. Normally, all three project leads have to agree to cancel the lockdown. I'm the only one left now. I can give my authorization, but you'll have to manually reset the other two yourself. And what happens if I have to kill your brother? Let's just hope it doesn't come to that. Now let me ask you a question. Is your friend here going to be a problem? If there's one Geth in the galaxy who can't be brainwashed, it's him. Don't worry. I'll take your word for it. Tell me more about Project Overlord. We wanted to turn the Geth's religious impulse into a weapon. When we saw them following Saren, we realized they could be swayed. And if a proper figurehead was created, a virus with a face, if you will, the Geth might be controlled. That's an ambitious undertaking. It would be the perfect weapon. Victory without casualties. We could avoid war with the Geth altogether. That was the plan, anyway. What can you tell me about Atlas Station? Atlas Station is the main laboratory where all of our VI experiments take place. It's your final goal once you've overridden the lockdown. It's also where my brother became something else. What went wrong with the experiment? David volunteered to interface with the VI to give it genuine consciousness. Theoretically, it should have been safe, but with artificial intelligence, there's no such thing as safe. Then you shouldn't have attempted it. And what if you'd never attempted to find the Reapers, Commander Shepard? Where would the galaxy be then? Sometimes you have to ignore the risks. Shepard isn't really one to talk about moral uh, morality or risk concerning the shit he or she may have done. Or have done, really, regardless of your actions or your choices, really. Let alone the choices that resulted in the, uh, the Ragnite being exterminated. What happens on this station? This is Hermes Station, our communications uplink with the wider galaxy. If you hadn't destroyed the dish in time, the outcome would have been catastrophic. Tell me about the Vulcan and Prometheus stations. Vulcan station is our geothermal plant. It generates power for the four outposts. 
Prometheus Station is a crashed Geth ship full of dormant machines. We use them for our experiments. I'm heading out now. The other stations are all within driving distance. Best of luck, Commander. Such potential with this thing. On a gameplay level, this might be the best DLC of all of them in Mass Effect uh, 2. But on a story level. <laughs> Ah, this is what I hate, those fucking turrets. Oh yes, Bior. They're pretty big though, the herbivores. In truth, I actually didn't want to go there. Not really, I actually just wanted to go and find all the Cerberus intel.
Shepard, Prometheus Station is a crashed Geth ship full of dormant machines used in our experiment. Our people there have... Scanning area. Analysis. Generators are providing power for main shield. Warning. The VI infection has assumed control of the Geth cannon. Warning. We are being targeted. Nice work. Alright, Questine here on Serious Gaming, signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.